Well, we're joined now from that city by Zainab Chowdhury from the Council of American Islamic Relations and by Star Parker, a conservative columnist and founder of the Center of Urban Renewal. She's also in D.C. Um, Zainab Chowdhury, uh, these are seven countries um, from which, of course, quite a number of war refugees might come into America. What do you make of this first uh, executive order? You know, we're deeply disturbed. Uh, any kind of policy or executive order that unfairly discriminates or targets against any population, specifically based on religion or race or ethnicity or sexual orientation or what have you, um, is deeply antithetical to the values of our country. I um, mean, not only that, but it also pits uh, Muslim, the Muslim world against uh, the Western world, against the United States. It sends a message to the Muslim world that you are not, um, y you know, you're not welcome here. And I think especially um, in these countries that were targeted the fact that many of these countries are seeing some of the worst humanitarian crises of our times is especially disturbing because now we've essentially told them or will be telling right. them our government will be telling them that they're not welcome here well when i stop parker isn't there a danger that this may deepen divisions in america rather than uh, heal them well, perhaps, but what we hear is that most of the people in that region don't like Americans anyway. It's sort of like having a guest come into your home. They have to abide by the rules of your home. What Americans, I believe, are waiting for is a loud voice out of that region that actually says that something has gone terribly wrong. Why are they refugees in the first place? And instead, what we get is scrutiny of Israel, which most Americans believe is our dear friend. Well, uh, w w when one thinks of America, I don't know America, where you're getting that thinks, information from. Thinks, the idea. Sorry, keep going. Yes, keep going. No, I was just going to say the idea that many of the people in those countries don't like America or they, they don't appreciate Western values. I'm not sure where that information is coming from. It's entirely subjective. I mean, I, I think that we also have to examine our own foreign policies and the fact that we've also um, invaded many of these countries and we've also uh, conducted drone strikes and uh, indiscriminate drone, stri drone strikes in many of these countries. Um, I think that it's important to look at the data and the facts that we have. And the reality is that refugees and immigrants do not pose a threat to national security. Uh, the vast majority uh, of reports uh, indicate that refugees let me just are But listen to the double listen to the double talk in what you're saying right there. First you're saying that we have attacked them, but now they want in this country and they're going to abide by our laws and our rules. I think Americans are saying let's just pause. Let's pause because we're not sure. Keep in mind that the men that attacked us on September 11th, on uh, 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 911, were men that had dwelled with us for years. I think that Americans are tolerant enough. And what's happening now is we're hearing uh, that you're Which too impatient. Which, mind you, by the way, the country that cautious. many of those, the many of those perpetrators were from Saudi Arabia. Many of those perpetrators were from Saudi Arabia. Yes, Which, that is absolutely you, is true. Why do you, that's on why the can't we focus is, policy and, and on... And I think well, it's important, let, let I think it's important to keep perspective. Instead American Muslims suffered. Yeah. American Muslims suffered as much as Americans of diverse faiths on 9/11, and to use that as an excuse to push back against uh, religious pluralism, to push back against some of the the values and principles that are enshrined in our constitution. Said, let, 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 me, let me just. Can, can I just come in there? I just want We're to come in for a moment. Pausing. Let me let me put it to you, Star Parker, that the worst atrocities ever committed on the American mainland were permitted were committed indeed by 15 Saudi terrorists. Saudi Arabia is not that's to be listed in, in, in this list of people that are going to be watched. That's absolutely right. Now, I don't happens, think it's about it happens, which country no, hit us. I just want to add a further thing to the question. The question, Star Parker, is that this is a country which is spreading, spreading Wahhabism across the and radicalizing uh, much of the uh, immediate world around Pakistan and Bangladesh and indeed in Afghanistan. Are they not a threat to America? Well, what we know is that when Americans' friends are under attack at the UN, everybody that thinks that we should do something about that region channels their energy toward all of the others that are in disagreement with America. What Americans are now saying is we have a president who's saying, let's pause, let's find out what is really broken down in that region and why people, especially the refugees, can't live in their own country. These are the problems we should solve, not try to integrate them into American culture, let's because America does have a defined culture. Okay, Zainab Chaudhry. Let's Let's call a spade a spade. This executive order isn't an, about national security. It's not about protecting Americans. The vast majority of threats that are 
uh, wage towards Americans are domestic in nature, and that's backed up by data and by evidence and by reports. This is about Islamophobia. This is about anti-Muslim bigotry. And the idea that we're perpetuating more animosity, we're perpetuating a us versus them dichotomy by these kind of policies and these kind of executive orders that are going to further alienate a segment of the world's population that can be one of the greatest allies in securing uh, our nation and our interests okay. abroad is really, I think, something that is... is Let's just say what you said is true. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. And, and refugees, yeah, just, refugees uh, over 800,000 refugees have, have entered the true. United States since 2001. Yeah, one and of those, the vast Zainab, majority did, of these are law Zainab, citizens. just pause okay. a moment. <laughs> let's, let's have a stop, Parker. <laughs> Let's just say that it is true that our major threats are domestic. Let's just pretend that what you just said is true. Then that's all the more reason we should shut down and begin to process what is already in our country and try to find out who we are as a free country, and then we will open it up to our guests. What refugees are are guests in can our country. Can you name one? At, and the same can you name way one terrorist attack? In your home, can you name one you terrorist attack that took place to, in the United States? It's not about can, terrorism at this point. It's uh, about can you name name one attack American that was launched by refugees okay. that no. entered the United States? I, I, I'm sorry, it's very very refugees hard to do it actually all at once. Contribute. Uh, I think <laughs> we've got the sense of what each of you stands for. And Thank you very much indeed, Zainab Chandra. Thank you very pause. much, Star Parker. <laughs>